Hello, my name is Fei Wan. I'm an architect of Concast. I'm part of the inner source guild in Concast that helps guiding the team through the inner source best practices. I also lead the DevOps inner source project in Concast. It's good talking to you today. Hi, and I'm Sebastian Spear. I work at Meltwater. There I'm the director of engineering programs. And what I do in that function is work with many teams on how they can improve cross collaboration between teams. And that got me very interested in inner source. Today, we'll talk about leveling up your inner source through patterns. Before we can do that, what is a pattern again? So you might remember patterns from software design. There's this famous book from the gang of four design patterns. And here's the equivalent in, in Chinese. In that context, it's a pattern is defined as a template for how to solve a problem. And the important piece there is that you can then take that pattern and use it in a different situation. We also have patterns in the inner source context. This is how our current online book looks like. And we define it as an inner source pattern documents a proven inner source best practice. Or in the words of the previous definition, it's a template for how to solve an inner source problem. Now that might be nice in theory, but how would a pattern help you in practice? Let's actually go back to the definition of inner source. Inner source actually uses the open source principles and practices for software development within a company. And within a typical company, the software development is single team based. You know your team member, you talk to each other every day, you have the same goal and priority. However, when you adopt inner source as the software development, you're transforming from a single team to a community based software development. Just like many open source projects, it's a community that collaborate with each other to deliver the software. So that transformation means you may need different culture, different way of communication, and different methods of collaboration. With a transformation, there usually comes with challenges. And patterns are the documented best practices tackle the challenges in this type of transformation. Each pattern defines the problem and the context on where the problem happens. It lays out the forces that cause the problem and describes the solution to tackle the problem. It also has no instances capture the companies who have used these best practices to tackle that problem in their company. So that's why patterns help to tackle the challenges in inner source adoption. And Sebastian, now that we know patterns help to tackle the challenges, where do I find the inner source patterns? Well, luckily that's really easy. So we've published a book uh, with 18 mature inner source patterns. You find it on this website that we'll also share in the Q&A section. This is how a pattern looks like. So it's formatted, it's just a text formatted according uh, to a certain format. And just to repeat, it's the 18 most mature patterns that we have today. And they cover all stages of a typical inner source program. And of course, this book is completely for free. However, how do we know that this, these 18 patterns actually cover all stages? We actually have a mind map in a table of contents in the book. The mind map lays out all the different patterns in the different phases of inner source program. That helps you to navigate across different patterns to see how they help in different phase. If we zoom in, you can see there are four stages for inner source program. From the time when you get it started and it gets adopted, it grow and all the way to scale. So in the beginning phase, there are patterns describing starting inner source as an experiment with dedicated community manager and patterns describing how to set a project up. Once your inner source gets adopted in the company, because it's a transformation, you may run into different sorts of challenges. There are actually many patterns capture the proven best practices to tackle those challenges. And then the inner source program grow all the way to scale 
That's when you need to enable the team to self-educate and self-improve. That's when the maturity model comes very nicely at the scale phase. One of my most favorite pattern is actually praise participant. You can see the pattern talks about the forces, why that problem happens. Maybe you're busy and forget to say nice things about thank you or praise the contribution. Or maybe you're just shy. You're not comfortable with using good words in a social situation. But it's super important to remember the peer recognition is important for job satisfaction and career development. So that's why we have this pattern of praise participants. So the solution will tell you exactly what you can do. You should praise the participants about your contribution. And importantly, don't forget to copy their manager. So the management is aware of the contribution and the value it brings. So that's my favorite pattern. Sebastian, what's yours? Well, my favorite pattern is the trusted committer. And it's a fairly simple idea that's super impactful. So there's typically a group of people that is maintaining a certain code base or repository. And by describing how they want to onboard further trusted committers, so give other people further access and rights in their, to their repository or in their service, they actually, one, they describe, yes, we do want external committers. We want people to contribute to our code base. And they also make it explicit what rights come with that and also what responsibilities. So as I said, it's a relatively simple idea, but it has been proven really impactful in our company. So now that you know where you can find the patterns, you even know some of the favorite patterns from Faye and myself, you might still be wondering how to get started. And we know getting started with something new can be hard. So we figured we'd just tell you our own stories. So Faye, how did you get started? Well, I'm someone who likes to learn by reading. So I started with by just reading these patterns. So my suggestion is like, if you're someone like me who likes to learn by reading, hey, just go start reading the book. And here's the book uh, link. And here's how the book looks like. I would suggest to start with the mind map to navigate through the different patterns out there. So whether there's some challenge that you're facing that's on your mind, Go read that pattern, digest that, and try it. Then share your thoughts and feedback with us in the Slack channel. That is inner source dash patterns. Hey, Sebastian, what's your suggestion? What's your experience? Well, for me, and I need to do things hands on. So I'm the learning by doing type. So if you're like me, maybe try contributing to the patterns. And there are different ways that you can do that. This is our open source repository where you can find the patterns. So the patterns book and all the patterns themselves are an open source project. And if you want to contribute, there are various ways. So for example, you can just fix a typo in an existing pattern and send us a pull request to contribute that. You can also, if you see a pattern that you are using yourself as your company, you might want to add your own name. So for example, we know that in APAC, there are many companies that are already using inner source. So feel free to add that to the, to the patterns and just mention we are using, for example, the inner source portal in the following way. And this is our experience. Maybe even point to a blog post that you have written about your experience. Another way to contribute is just to capture a challenge that you have as a so-called donut pattern. That's a pattern where you don't have a solution. You just know that you're faced with a challenge and want to share that, maybe get input from the community. And last but not least, of course, if you found a solution that works really well and there's no pattern for that yet, please just contribute your pattern and others can benefit from that. So with that, we'll leave you with this Chinese proverb. We hope that this information today is helpful for you to level up your inner source through patterns. So thanks for listening. Hope to talk to you in Slack. And if you want to find more information about Faye or myself or the companies that we're working for, here's all the information that you need. So enjoy the rest of the summit. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.